Hey y'all, welcome back, or welcome if you're new to my channel. Well y'all, it's the third and final episode of my After Christmas series, and I am getting the last of the Christmas decor packed up and stored away, and the last Christmas tree taken down until next year. Boo-hoo. <laughs> anyway, just like in the episodes before, I will be leaving up a few things since it is more winter decor than Christmas or can be incorporated as such, such as the lighted garland that's along my headboard. Also, I decide to not wait till spring and I am going ahead with adding my new mustard yellow uh, pillow that I got from Walmart about a month ago along with a gorgeous new mustard yellow, white, and light gray striped blanket to my bed. Can't wait for you guys to see that. I absolutely love how it turns out, so y'all don't forget to let me know what y'all think about it. Anyway, this video is a bit shorter than usual, but I hope y'all enjoy it and get motivated to finish up your own undecorating and resetting. So let's get to it. So one thing that I didn't talk about in the two previous videos um, that I meant to, but just didn't, I wanted to ask you guys, did you all have a white Christmas? And do you all enjoy white Christmases? We hardly ever have a white Christmas anymore, but this Christmas, we had a white Christmas. It was so beautiful and just in the spirit of Christmas. You know what I mean? And last year, we had a white Christmas. And it has been several years since we've had one. So I was um, very happy last year whenever we had our first white Christmas after several years. And then this year, it didn't look like it was going to be. And I hate that it took the winter storm because a lot of people um, in a lot of the United States, um, not just in one certain area, but specifically in New York, they got hit really hard with the, the winter storm. And I hope everybody else fared well with it but um it was because of the winter storm that we managed to have a white christmas and i hate that it took that for us to have the white christmas but it was beautiful so anyway now it's like spring here in kentucky where i live and it's warm out like it's eight o'clock in the morning a little after eight o'clock in the morning right now and um as i'm doing these voiceovers and i think that it is like 55 degrees outside right now so it is not you know terribly warm or anything but it's not cold it's right around the early spring temperatures of uh, what we usually experience in my area so yeah i'm really enjoying the warm weather because if you all know me and you've been with me long enough to know I think that it should only be cold and snow twice a year well technically three times a year but um, especially twice a year that's christmas eve and christmas day and new year's eve into new year's day but you know i'll take it if it don't on new year's eve and new year's day other than that i think it should be spring like outside at all times which is sunny 72 and just spring like so yeah i'm really enjoying the weather now so let me know what uh, what kind of weather are you guys enjoying or are you even enjoying it <laughs> we can be friends when you're not so fragile when you know yourself well somewhere down the sweet light when i do things for me because i don't want to be be a therapy i want to be free so Ooh, gotta go and grab a spoon now
this tree is possibly the easiest tree I have ever had to take down or put up, either one. It is all one piece, except for the stand itself. As you guys see, it's all one piece, and it's pre-lit, so I don't have to take the lights off. I don't have to put lights back on. When it comes time to do all that, all i got to do is pull it out of the box, put the little three pieces of the feet on it, stand it up, plug the lights in, and put the ornaments on it. That's it. Easiest ever. Love that tree. And I just absolutely do love that tree. I think it is so beautiful. So anyway, we're going to get the floor um, vacuumed and mopped because believe me, it needs it. Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one way track. Now I know. So that was the blanket that you just seen me uh, throw in the bed there. Um, but I'm just switching everything out. That's the mustard yellow pillow that I bought like a month ago at Walmart and then the little blanket. The blanket is a 50 inch by 60 inch and it come from the Dollar General and it was just, I absolutely thought that this was a beautiful blanket. It's got gray, very light gray, and then it's got white in it and mustard yellow. It matches the colors of my bedroom perfectly and i just i absolutely thought that it looked so great you guys be sure to let me know what you all think it looks like um but i absolutely love it and it's very comfortable i've already covered up with it also we're coming to the end of the video and um like i said this was a much shorter video than what i usually um put out for you guys but um it didn't take me that long to undecorate and reset my bedroom i really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys got the motivation you may have needed to get your decorating, uh, undecorating started or finished or whatever it may have been that you needed the motivation to get done. Um, I hope that I was able to help with that. So, yeah, I think that's got it till next time, you guys. Love y'all. Stay safe. Happy New Year's.
to get